I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but... It was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know, Lucas. If there's one thing our adventures taught me, it's better to just be truthful. Let history speak for itself. I guess I can pull back on some of the, uh, the exaggerations. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Grats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. Well, I mean, I am the leader, you guys. It's just the way it happened. If you say so. Yeah, kind of self-centered, though. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. Yeah, uh, we're actually in the middle of this radar. If you don't mind. Oh my gosh, and that's why I am so sorry. I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh. Nice! We should get going! Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own Founding Day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Wow, I had no idea you guys had gotten so lame. <laughs> Come on, we're not lame. I mean, you're a little lame. Axel! But, seriously. You have your life, and so do we. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> Ugh, so freaking cute!
So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah. This has been great. I am going to see you all again. Same time next week. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but being out there, adventuring, that's good too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Jesse, dude! Now, I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. I can't believe you settled down. I thought you were all about the wandering, the adventure. Look, <laughs> you make it all sound really good again when you put it like that. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which... I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, a blank canvas. That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a 
fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Oh, Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. Could you call off your dog, please? It's kind of freaking me out. Oh, right. Sorry. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow. This is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. <laughs> That's Esteban, smushy cute cheeks, and Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? But they all look exactly the same? What? No, they... I, I am offended. They are, I'm pretty sure, offended. Look at their offended little faces. Sorry, I just can't pick one. Fine. Well, in that case, I guess there just won't be a Reuben in the festival this year. Come on, boys. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Of course. I wish we could have helped a couple more people get ready. I mean, founding day is all about how you took down the wither storm and all. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. You better. Don't disappoint me, Radar. I... I hadn't even thought about that being a possibility till just this moment. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? Oh, stupid son.
zombie. Oh, I miss this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. Look at that. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, I am not rusty. <laughs> oh yeah? Says the scrub wearing iron armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ha, <laughs> time to find out just how rusty you aren't. Ha <laughs> <laughs> too slow, zombies. Typical. Jesse. I must say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. What can I say? My public adores me. <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. I'm just glad you're here with me now. But, uh... Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, that's what I said too. But maybe we shouldn't be so harsh on them. They've just got their own lives now. I get it. Well, I don't. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! What's up? Good to see oh, you. Oh, perfect. It's <laughs> perfect. Hey, I was gonna eat that. Obviously. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> huh. Woo! All right. Where'd you go? Where'd what go? down there so you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing nope mystery is what makes it fun come on
Jeez, more of these guys. Jesse takes the lead. Ah, let's see how long that lasts. Yeah. 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 Man, you're faster than I remember. You were so supposed to lose. Hey, just thought I'd come and remind you why I'm the best. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Keep it up. I didn't want to show you the way back up anyway. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Really? How could a llama be important? Because I'm looking, I really am, and I'm just not seeing it. You know what? Forget I said anything at all then. Forget it. Just grab that llama and let's get out of here. Mm. Come here, llama. Come on. Come on. You get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the. Oh, gross. Come on. Let's get after that armor wrecking thing. Uh, hang on. It's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. Told you I'm not the mayor, I'm the- Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork. <laughs> How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Looking at that. What's that? Only one way to find out. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Yeah. 
Whoa, girl. What is it? Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. something? Well, if it does, it's too bad it didn't come with an instruction manual. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. Okay, ow, wow, stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Yeah, maybe it was down here waiting for me. Okay, that's just unsettling. Uh oh, get off the pyramid, quick! Leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Ooh, mysterious. Okay, then. <clears throat> What do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... that was really bad. That sounds a little weird, Petra. He better not be like a weird fish person. Uh, he's definitely not that. Trust me, I've heard a lot of good things about him. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay, come on you. Gotta get you home. Petra, you're just as much a part of this as me. You can't just walk away from it. I, ugh. I promise, we'll take care of it. Just... Why are you being so weird about this llama? What's the big deal? 
you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kind of got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been not great. Wow. Can't believe you're getting pushed around like that. That's kind of... Humiliating? Yeah, I know. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, <laughs> her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like yeah, that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. I can smell a bully from a mile away, Petra, and I don't let bullies go being smelled on my watch. <laughs> You're one of the good ones, Jesse. Thanks. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! This is it, Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. If it's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? It's more like Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. <laughs> We're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. Petra, you're not scared of her, are you? What? No, she, she's just... She's really manipulative, all right? Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon toners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Ah, oh, she matches your... Oh, Luna, my darling! You came home. You came back. Aunt uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please?
There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do? <laughs> Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd offer. I heard you need a new pet. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Would you stop talking already? Your voice is exhausting me. Sword. I want sword. My sword. Preposterous. What? I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> Wait, what? You live here? I, uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way... Way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want to place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm still upset about this, Petra. You lied to me. I... yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm going to get my sword back. I just don't know how we're going to do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. We'll roll in, fight the bodyguard, snag the sword, get out again. Piece of cake. I like the sound of that. Hey, you can't be in here. And you definitely can't have those. Let's get out! Fire it up. I don't like you. I'm not a fan of yours either. We still really need to talk about this, Petra. You really want to discuss it now? Yes, I do. It does seem like weird timing. Shush. Hey, shush you! I'm trying to have a conversation here! This whole Champion City thing's kind of a big deal, don't you think? Is it, though? So I have a house here. So what? Hey! What's going on out here? Uh, uh, so what? I feel like you're deflecting the issue. Uh, me? No, not you. Yipes! What about not wanting to be tied down? What about your friends? You mean the friends who are never around anymore? Uh, what did you say? No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. 
You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. Well, what about loyalty, huh? To your friends? The people who take care of you? Doesn't that mean anything? Of course it does, dummy. But do you really, like, expect me to just hang around waiting for you forever? I've got my own life, my own stuff, too. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep, though. Should be... No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? <clears throat> so, our rivalry escalates again. You're not my rival! Says the person breaking into my treasure room. Classic rival move. You shouldn't be here. Well, you shouldn't be such a jerk. Guess we're all disappointed. Okay, okay, fine. Just take it. Take the stupid sword. I've got better treasure than that anyway. Who needs it? Hope you learned a lesson here, Stella. No one cheats my friends and gets away with it. Yes, I've certainly learned how you deal with people you disagree with. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. What? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I already know I don't deserve this back. I know you're really happy about getting your sword back, but I'm still upset. You lied to me. And I feel terrible, all right? I'm gonna make it up to you, I swear. That. Or those. Well, it's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Go, ah! oh, stupid cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. <laughs> so good to have you back. No, you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. I don't know how we're gonna get this to hold. That heckmouth blew right through the ground. 
First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jax fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. You still hang out with me, though. Well, yeah. But that's because I knew you when you were still just a nerd in a treehouse. Don't take it personally, dude. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Wow. The Upper Lowlands? Spider Peak Mountain? The Ice Crags of Doom? It's just like I told you! Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. I think you mean best adventurers in town after us. Oh, well, yeah, of course I do. You're not jealous, are you? Because that sounded kind of jealous. No, of course not. Okay, if you say so. Well, just remember, just because I'm excited to meet these guys doesn't mean that I think you're any less cool. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. <gasps> I mean, sup? You push the button. Very, very brave. Uh, thanks? I think? You're not being sarcastic, right? I don't make a habit of it. The warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. So cool. Do you think you'll start talking like a normal person anytime soon? All in good time. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Aye, whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> uh, 
Wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, uh, be straight with us, um, Daddy-o. I... that is, uh, um... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. Wow, I'll be sure to remember that the next time I see a mysterious prismarine gauntlet. That sass won't fix the pit any faster, you know. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Sup? What are you doing with your hands? I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Well, then I guess we'll take our business elsewhere, right, Petra? <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll do. Just, just stroll right on out of he here. Oh, wow, Petra, please stop. I'm guessing there are tons of people who know where to find this place. <sighs> that's where you're wrong. It's like I said before, the world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Let me guess. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. No. I'm the one the Apex Hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano, you remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep, without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is my curse. Wow, that does sound rough, doesn't it, Petra? Yeah, it does. Too bad you won't let us help, though. I guess we should just leave. I know I shouldn't let that tactic get me twice. And yet there's something about you that's just so darn compelling. You 
You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? You are, right? Yes. Then yeah, that's the spirit! Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Petra, I'm gonna say this as your best friend and someone who cares about you very deeply. Please never play it cool again. Never? Never, ever. Ouch. Okay, fine. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admins. Ah, mm -mm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing, villager stuff. Nerm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident? What's got you so excited about this one? Uh, I'll explain on the way. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of okay, Port. Okay, jeez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake-baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't Radar. super happy about their... Ah, sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends and a new accessory. Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! Radar, I think the town will be fine for one adventure. Petra and I need to do this. Okay, if you really say so. Well, um, best of luck. I'll be anxiously awaiting your return. Sure! <laughs> um, goodbye? <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. Can you blame him? You're kind of an intimidating guy. Aw, thank you. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. Yeah, you ever fought a Witherstorm or the old builders? Well, yeah, well, uh, well, uh, no, not specifically those, but, uh, you know, I did stuff. Wanna cool the ego there, Jesse? Jack's done some amazing stuff, too. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. I've got one of those, too.
wow, is that? Yes, it is. It's Tim. Hey, everybody. Tim is here. Woo! Uh, excuse me. Tim? Long story. Tell you later. Fine. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City. So, I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Well, we all have to start somewhere. Just... Uh, take it at face value. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. off the cliff, mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine. <sighs> oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see, after this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. <sighs> woodland mansion? Uh, sounds cool, I guess. Well, I think it sounds totally awesome. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Mm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. Well, that sounds like a load of junk. Glad we agree. But just remember, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, Perfect internal compass. The... The sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. I hope that compass of yours is aligned right. I don't really feel like wandering around at the bottom of the ocean. Me and Nermi got it covered. Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out.
Pretty uh, impressive, right, Petra? If you look closely, the carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. Really? Yep, completely unique. No one's quite sure why. But you'll never have an experience like this. <gasps> I, uh, I'm gonna need a sec. Just to check my enchantments. Yeah, gotta make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing. Nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Ooh, whoa, it's uh, got me. Like, uh, frozen in place. Wow, it's a good thing you're better at fighting than you are at lying, because you are a terrible liar. What? I am... Uh, I'm an awesome liar. The deceptive, uh, deceivers of Lyar Mountain... So... Hmm. Uh, fine. Fine. I thought I was ready for this. Guys, hey, I found something! Uh, be right there! Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? She's a fan. It's nice. Look, you have no idea how it feels to have everyone around you think you're some... has-been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Come on, Jack, you're tougher than this. Buck up! Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm freaking Jack. Nothing can stop me. There you go. I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. 
What's keeping you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. Just remember what we talked about, right, Jack? Yeah, right. You're right. That was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. All right, should be able to use those sponges to soak up the floating water the Guardians are in. Water floating in midair? That should be impossible. Oh. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Oh, oh he won't listen to me anymore. Guys, why are you being so fighty, Jack? Come on. Because I refuse to believe that there's some all-powerful dude running around, playing games with my life. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're gonna use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the Guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the Guardians, right? Buy you guys time? I know you can do this. Jack and I will grab the sponges. Cool. I'm on it. Yeah! Okay, everyone. Let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go! Hey, Scaleheads! Zap this! Come on, Jack! working oh no 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 S sammy jack jack jesse we've got a jack problem uh. yeah. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack, you almost got us killed. You said you were ready. Hey, I thought I was. I... You're right. I failed. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss... must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure block's gotta be close. Fine.
Hmm. Hmm. Dark prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. Well, at least this temple was nice enough to provide a crafting table. Sea Lantern, nice! Looks like some sort of pattern. Yeah. Yeah. The tides! I'm finally free! <laughs> it has... It has been a very, very long time. <gasps> Vars! Jack! <laughs> Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Hmm. Wait. How did you survive down here for so long? <laughs> if you sit absolutely still, you'd be amazed at how long a stack of pork chops will last. <laughs> anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. <laughs> you are truly something special. He has his moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Sorry, Voss. Not until we get the treasure that we came here for. Yep. <sighs> Even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Well, uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Ugh. More of those weird statues. Well, at least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. Zombies, but those are definitely not zombies. Oh, wow! Wow! Us, Erm, we did it. We're inside. Uh, yes, 
And it is incredible! Okay, guys. Structure blocks gotta be in here. How do you know? Just a feeling? Hey, Nurm, you think you could give me a hand with these? Oh. <sighs> Hermes says, they say, once the world was flat, no mountains, no rivers, no trees, until the admin, uh, built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious malarkey. This must be it. It's gotta be. Look, that symbol. It looks just like the one we saw underground. Shh. A structure block. <laughs> Nurm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Huh. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one. <laughs> Nurm says that one's the Tower of the Warrior. Wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. The Warrior Path. That sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? Got it. Now, if only our way out wasn't blocked by all these freaky soldiers. Perhaps they went away? I'm guessing no. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work!
your face! Hoo-hoo! Met metaphorically. Why, hello. Uh, hi. Die now. Whoa, too close! Stand still! Well dodged. My sword! I can... Uh, I can almost reach it! It's so close! Don't worry! I've got it! Mostly! Come on, let's get out of here. Wow. Thank you. Really? Look at that. You said thank you. Hmm. He'll never prove it. No! This water! All that time enchanting down the drain. where the structure block goes. Slam it down, Jesse. We'll keep the creepers off your back. This works. Is everyone okay? Looks all clear. That's right, folks, in a stunning victory, Jesse has taken down the Heckmouth. You said it, Bob, and the crowd goes wild. 
Jesse, 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 Jesse. Oh, what do you know, Jesse? You really did it. Huh? Yeah, I guess I did. Think that's really the end of it? Ah, huh. certainly looks that way to me. Then come on, let's go home, you guys. This is more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey everyone, happy founding day! <laughs> oh, welcome back! We were worried you'd miss it! Oh, thank goodness you're back! It has been chaos! I knew this would happen if no one was left in charge. There's no schedule? Everyone's running around unorganized? There are animals everywhere! Huh. That your way of telling me you wish I'd left you in charge? What? No! I mean, I mean, I mean, no. Oh, way too chaotic for me. So, did you find what you were searching for? Jesse! 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 I know there are people out there who doubted me, thought I had lost it. Hopefully this reminds everyone why I'm the best. Nothing can stop me. Happy Founding Day, everyone. You're welcome. Right? I think they really liked it. Yeah, they did. Congratulations. I haven't seen a celebration like this since that crazy summer I spent with the party people of Tayatam. Yeah, you really brought home the goods this time. I'm uh, sorry. I still just bummed about losing Miss Butter back there. Oh, yeah. That was an excellent sword. Come on, Petra. It was just a sword. Just make a new one. I mean, yeah, but I had to put hours, weeks into making that one. All those enchantments. And never mind. I guess you just don't get it. Oh, Jack! I, oh, oh I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Voss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? Yeah, wait up. Still don't know what I'm going to do about you, though. What's that? Whoa, you dudes heard that too, right? Yes, terrifying. Yeah, what was it? Thank you. 
back in town. Looks like it's time to write the next chapter.